Okay, so basically, I want to make this tier list as the, since season 3 is ending, this is going to be a very opinion slash subjective tier list. So don't get crazy if you see a character in a spot you don't believe that they're going in because, you know, it's my opinion. So I'm not going to put anybody in like a specific order. It's just going to be the tier that I think. So let's change the title of this one. Doo doo. Instantly. Boom. You got S tier. We got our A tiers. We got our B tiers, our Cs. And then we got just doo doo. Doo doo. Doo doo. Basuda. Garbage. Even though that means the same thing. Boom. Easy. I don't think any characters are really C tiers. They're either B tiers or they're trash. So right off the bat, you already know who's going to be the top. My opinion, the best character in the game, where's he at? This little nerd right here. Kid Buu always has been the best character in the game. Always will be. I'll try to explain the best I can as to why I put these characters in the certain spots that I put them in. We all know why Kid Buu's the best character in the game. I don't have to explain it. He's nutty. He does damage. He gives characters mix. He mixes you when he's on the field. He has some of the most cheap setups. And like, if you want to if you wanna mix people, you will use this character. So it's already said it done. The second best character in the game. But I personally feel that G this guy, Team Gohan, is better than a DT Goku might do the do the most most damage in the game you know he has solo freaking like level three stuff solo in the spirit bomb which is what this character right here should have been able to do base goku they kind of slumped him with that but he's very assist dependent in terms of like how you want to use him yes he's got one of the best assists in the game the best beam is one of the best beam assists in the game because of the angle you know it angles upwards it's pretty good he struggles when he's by himself as most characters do most characters struggle but what, but what do you really have to be worried about when you're playing against GT Goku when he's by himself? He's got triple low. He's got 2L, 2M, um, 2S. Not discrediting the character. He's just not. I just personally don't feel like he's better at, than this kid. He can go on. So I'm going to put him in the third spot. And I think Bardock would get fourth. Bardock used to be here. And nah, he was, he was like here. I don't think he was ever the best character in the game. Nah, he was. He was busted when he first came out. But I feel like he, he, he deserves to go there, to be honest. I feel like that's where he deserves to go. The reason why I put him there is because, yeah, he used to be the best character in the game, but he kind of fell from grace. Similar to this guy right here uh, in Cell, where you don't really have to be worried about him when he's when he's by himself. Same as uh, Super Saiyan Goku, even though I think Super Saiyan Goku's great. He kind of struggles when he's by himself. He doesn't really have real mix-ups. He really doesn't have mix-ups. He has EX Lariat that jails into Vanish. He's got, um, like, you really have to use this guy to really give uh, Bardock actual mix, which is the same across the board with any character. You could throw any character on a team with Kid Buu and you instantly give that character mix. I think this is the rightful setup for the top tier characters in the game. Remember when this guy was top tier and he was like way up here? <laughs> now he's not. So that's pretty much all I would say for S. Now, S minus, you guys know, Broly. He, S bro, or Z Broly. He Broly is S minus. This man would be up here. He'd probably be like, right here if he wasn't as big as he is that's really the only reason that he's s minus he's big he's a big body so he gets hit by the majority of stuff that people don't usually get hit by he can get universal fuzzied into a second fuzzy against characters like um where's my boy adult gohan universal fuzzy um who else can universal fuzzy and bardock universal fuzzy there's some other characters that can do it but i don't know every character that's the reason why i put him there best key blast in the game he's literally he's the best zoner in the game he's got command grabs he's got armor for days he doesn't do crazy damage but he will get you he will open you up since like command grab is like 24 frames which is like the edge of human reaction time because human reaction time is like 16 frames anything faster than that you get clipped he always keeps you worried about um command grabs so that's gonna make you get hit by 5h 2m like if they fake something out and he can just punish you for jumping or if you're trying to vanish he can he can wait punish you he's very scary and he's hard to fight against so once you get to neutral this man controls everything and it's so hard to get in so that's why i put him super saiyan goku i think deserves uh, s minus some people might put him up here it's debatable. It's debatable. He's either here or here. It depends on how you look at it. Started out as a balanced character, like these three characters right here. Where are they at? Where are all the characters? These three characters. This man used to be here. Here or here. Wherever you would place the balanced characters in this game. I feel like nowadays, best anchor in the game. Even though you don't have to be scared, really, whenever he's by himself and he's pressuring you. But that pressure is nutty. This man has staggers for dates. He's got a beam, which is his assist, which instantly makes it a good, a good assist. He's got the 2M of the freaking gods. 
So this man hits you from across the map. He does big damage too. He's got some crazy conversions that he got with season two. Remember, this is in no particular order. The next character that I think deserves to be Adol Gohan. I personally would probably put him here or like right here if I was being order wise. Adol Gohan is like the, the top tier character that nobody classifies as top tier. Well, everybody like says he's top tier, but no one no one cares that he's top tier. He's like the balanced top tier character. Now, if he wasn't level locked behind potential unleash and he had to like go level one to power up, He'd be up here. He'd be, he'd be, he'd be S. Yes. He'd be S yes, instantly. But the fact that he's locked behind potential unleash puts him here. He's got leg loops. He doesn't really have to worry about super dash because he can just M legs while he's in the mid screen. And when he's powered up, he can control the distance of M legs. H legs are very dangerous. The issue with H legs combo starter, he takes 60% of your health. I wish that he didn't, he wasn't locked behind potential unleash to do the majority of the stuff that's good with him. His auto combo is great when he's in level one. He's always been top tier since the start of the game and he's only gotten better since the game has come out i don't know if i really want to put anybody else in s minus I'll, I'll tell you who's the worst characters in the game pink 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 that's about it for the doo basuda garbage it's unfortunate because i love krillin krillin was my main for a long time i love this freaking character like i don't play him really anymore because you got to do a lot of work with him he's got cheeky little mix-ups or like fake outs it's not even mix-ups it's gimmicks his whole thing is ex flip where you can hold it and he fakes out the after image and he goes forward and you can like go for a low but it only works like once once you do it one time you're not opening anyone not getting anybody with that he also used to have like some solo mix that he could go for before they gave him two rocks as a as a, a, a buff with his rocks he used to be able to block string you solo ex rock because it would hit it was one rock so it would hit and when that rock would hit i think he was like plus two or like plus three and he could come down with a button he can come down with a with a medium and if someone tries to press a button they get slumped by the medium on the way down but since they buffed him and gave him <laughs> two rocks instead of one, he, he completely lost that solo mix. Yeah, you had to spend bar, but at least he can do stuff by himself. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, his assist instantly puts him down here, so he didn't even get a chance. I hope season three, they buff him. This character, trash. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, the last of the Basuda trash, Fidel. She's not in this game. There's nothing else to say, and that's about it. <laughs> Day one, everybody was like, oh my god, this character's, this character's up here. She's up here. She's got makes. She's got in an insane amount of tools. But the fact that she doesn't have a reflect and she has a spot dodge, but garbage. Bs, I think Tien deserves to be in the B tier. He's not the greatest character. He's got a beam assist, so that kind of makes him better. But it also adds on to um, hit decay. If you use his assist in a combo, it like drop makes the hit stun go up like insanely. I don't think he deserves to be here. I think he's, I think B is where he, he should be. This is not ordered. I keep on addressing that. Next, Android 17. Nah, he probably should be up here. I mean, he's he's like a low tier character with a top tier tool. So I guess you should put, we could put him here. I guess. This is all over the place. Let's just finish out the A's. I think 21 should be here. Even though you could probably say she's up here, but I don't think she's all that great of a character personally. I don't, I haven't seen anybody who really does good with her. And even like the top tier people, that's like the high level players, like I think like there's a guy named Moke. It's a Japanese player that plays her. I don't think she's all that great personally, so I would put her here. Not that great. Takes a lot to get her going. But when you, but when you do get her going, it does some work. Piccolo, I think should go here too. Piccolo used to be up here. <laughs> like, I think at the beginning of season two, like Piccolo was like up here. Man was like up here. He was freaking top tier as freak. He was like here or here, depending on where you put him. He was like... He was like top three when season two first came out. He was like right here. He has universal fuzzy where he can literally fuzzy any character in the game with the little double jump coming down, jump again, like a little thing that he does. He had like hell zone grenade for days, like stuff would lock you down, but I think he got nerfed. So I think he should go here. Mm, I'd say, I'd say base Goku. Base Ku, I think base Ku should be here. I don't think he's up here as most people would think because of uh, Wawa. I think he's a solid A tier character, not a common character. So people don't really understand what he wants to do. He also has a command grab that's pretty good. He can convert off of it. His auto combo is disgusting. It hits on both sides. The only thing that I think holds him back is not being able to combo into his level three, which actually doesn't even hold him back. He gets setups. He's got a really good assist. Because most characters would have would have put him here or like here. Here, I think most people would have put him before Wawa. Now he's like risen up. He's like up here now. <laughs> I think he deserves to be here. If I put base Ku for A, I can't I can't put base Jita in the same category. Base Jita is way better than, than base Goku. So I think I'll put him up here. I think I'll put him up here. 
He, I think he deserves to be up here. From what Sonic Fox has shown, what this character can do, pretty nutty, pretty decent assist, got pretty good setups. He's got the little um, 2H thing that every Vegeta has, where he can 2H you and still get plus frames. He has loops for days that do disgusting damage both in the air and on the ground. He's just good. He's got side switch, EX kick. His medium kick can be done from full screen, which takes you to the corner. Or if you're near the corner, you get slumped and then you get looped and then you get hit with the snap setups and, and for days. I'm bouncing all around the place. Another character that I would put in the, in the doo-doo category is Diren, which is unfortunate because I actually like this character. I thought this character was really fun. Got really slow buttons. He doesn't, he can't mix you. He literally can't mix you by himself. This man literally can't combo by himself. He needs assist to do anything. DT assist, best assist for everybody, but this assist is actually really good. Deren. Deren can't combo unless he does like, you know, your usual combo route into 2H or into 5H and he, then he, that's the only way he can get a hard knockdown. It's actually sad. Character needs to be so much better than what he is. That's about it for the trash characters, the doo doo basuda garbage category. Gogeta, A tier. I think Gogeta deserves to be here because he has slow buttons, yeah. He's got a DP, so that instantly makes him a slightly get better character. Slightly better. He's got a command grab, which is almost unreactable, especially in an online setting if you have frame delay. So yeah, I think he's solid. I think he's solid. He's not he's not good. He's not bad. He's not S tier. He's not he's not doo-doo basu the garbage or, or B tier, but I think he's a solid A tier. He's solid. Another character that I think should be A is Android 18. Android 18 is actually godlike. Honestly, I feel like with a few buffs, she can she, she could even bump up here. I hate me for that, but it's honestly how I feel. But got pretty good mix. She's got Android 17 which is she gets solo mixed because of that she has her own built-in assist or without using an assist she can have she can use ex17 to shut your assist down barrier assist might be trash to some people but i think it's pretty solid like she she's the only character that doesn't have an offensive assist in the game so some people a lot of people might say that it's trash I personally think it's really good. It's like more on the along the lines of a of a Super Saiyan Vegeta assist, where it's more or less like a punish assist now. Vegeta assist is basically a punish assist, and you can use her barrier as an assist to to hide your Dragon Rush. I think DBS Broly could be here too. If Gogeta's here, why not DBS Broly? He's actually pretty solid as well. He has slow normals, but he has a command grab. He's basically like I wouldn't even say he's a worse version of Z Broly because they're technically not even the same character. Like they play nothing alike. S Broly has a command grab. He's got armor on only on two moves though. He's got zone tools just like Z Broly, but not as good. He's basically more unga bunga than Z Broly, basically. This man is always in your face. He has combos for days and he does insane damage. He's really good. I don't think he's he's S tier, but he's definitely not B or, or doo doo. This one is actually kind of hard. I think Yamcha. Yamcha is either here or here, depending on how you want to look at him. Yamcha is actually a really solid anchor. He locks people down. His assist is godlike. Everybody can convert off of his assist. It's really good. You can throw it out of neutral and catch someone slipping. I don't know. Personally, I don't know where he would fit in terms of A or S minus. It just depends on how you look at him. But right, just to be safe, I'll put him here. I don't know. Actually, nah, I'll put him up here. I'll put him up here. Hate me for it. Love me for it. It's said and done. It's said and done. Set in stone. They did Krillin dirty. They did they did Krillin and Jiren dirty. This was my main Krillin was my boy. Love this guy, but he's trash. If he gets a buff, I might play him again. Garen, I love this character too. Drop them because he's trash. Strongest mortal in Dragon Ball Super, but one of the worst characters in the game. That's hilarious. Low key? Boomer is like right here, bro. Character's actually nuts. He used to be down here. Now he's up here. I think he deserves to be. Got DP. He's got good normals. He's got one of the longest reaching 2Ms in the game, which he can convert into 5H anywhere on the screen. His dive kicks are plus on block now from the season two patch. He's just really good. He's got a beam that's like 24 frames, I think. Actually, I think it's pretty fast i think it might be faster than that it might be 24 23 23 frames 30 frames at full screen this is faster than broly's medium command grab which is 24 frames i think blue Koo could be here as well very good character very solid he's basically super saiyan goku in terms of normals his uh 4m is godlike i think it's like minus three unblock he's got loops for days right and he does insane damage like if blue Koo hits you and he's in the corner he will he will hit you for like uh 60 percent 50 percent damage that's spicy damage let me demonstrate it we're being a more innovative tier list no one's doing this on the tier no one's doing this make sure to like and subscribe to the main black man yo whatever what he said this is hilarious and i'm embarrassed
You get it. You get the point. You get the point. That was already like 50% damage and I messed up. Anyways, another character I think deserves to be here. Sadly, Goku Black. The only thing that Goku Black really has going for him is that he has 5S. So this man can play the game on his own. He can play by himself, actually. He's actually pretty solid. But until like he gets some like game changing buffs i don't think he's that great i don't know if you guys agree with me or disagree with me but it is what it is i didn't i didn't make the game i didn't make the characters i'm just putting him where i feel like he should go <laughs> you know what i mean he's basically a goku clone but a worse version of him like this man used to be in the same tier as like they were like this they were like neck and neck everybody thought he was s was top tier as freak they thought he was like up here or up here because of instant transmission dive kick a lot of his stuff is gimmick he has like some pretty good setups where he can do he can like knock you down i think he should be here another character i think is here frieza he looks good on paper got a lot of stuff you can't super dash to his 5h but he's the worst he's a worse version of broly in terms of zoning he's not really a zoner he can't really lock you down if you just block frieza he can't really do much super saiyan vegeta i'd put him s or a tier Pretty solid. No one plays him even though he's actually still good. I just recently picked him up again after not playing him since the release of the game. DP, Key Blasts are pretty good. Like, you know, he's the multi-hitting bean. Air level three. So we can do that anywhere on the screen. Gets hard knockdowns. Um, Zamasu. Zamasu used to be really good, right? Like, he used to be, like, up here, right? But then it's like, you have to do all this work just to do something with him. He doesn't have like, good mix-ups. He does disgusting damage, don't don't get me wrong. But you gotta, you gotta do, like, EX. You gotta do, like, ex chop into the blaze of judgment and dump all your meter into this dude he has a solo tod with zero bar he has a sparkless tod but i think he's not that great i don't know if i want to put him here to be honest i, I kind of want to put him here only because he's underexplored and no one really knows what to do with him Final fox used to use him in like season one just because he's underexplored i'm just gonna put him here Ferris b tier don't need to say much he's got a dp which is pretty good but his normals are kind of sleep a lot of stuff is gimmicks he's got the orbs seem good on paper but you could just super dash through them, key blast them. Not great. Future Trunks, A tier, pretty solid, pretty good mix. Flip mix up is actually godlike. Um, he does pretty decent damage. He's changed the future, which is godlike as an assist and as a character. Majin Buu, B tier, still good, insane. I have a friend who actually makes him look pretty crazy, but I don't think he's that great. Sanemba, very underexplored, but he's actually very good. If he was explored more by people, I would probably put him here. No one plays him really, so I just put him here. Well, a la carte actually makes him look pretty nutty. Android 16, B tier. This man used to be off the tier list. He was so good, but they nerfed him to the ground. Like, he basically doesn't exist in the game anymore. He does mediocre damage. You need assists to really do damage with him in terms of combos. He has the worst meter build in the game now. I think if he does one combo, he barely builds like a bar and a half, which is horrible. I don't even think he builds a bar and a half. Like, they nerfed him so bad. This man used to be up here, bro up here bro bro now he's down here not a very good character no one plays him anymore i would like to see him get buffed again just don't give him back freaking command grab hard knockdown side switch bs i hated that i hated it we're almost done we're almost done a blue Jita? crash crash <laughs> i'd actually put him down here my reasoning for putting him here he's basically a worse version of the sam vegeta base vegeta i'd put him in the doo doo basuda trash garbage the man doesn't do much he takes a meter to do the majority of his combos because you want to because you got to do Rekka into vanish into, into slam and i think they nerfed his light slam to where it doesn't work in the air you have to do medium version now he has one of the worst assists in the game i think it is the slowest assist in the game it's it's horrible like you have to really build a team around this man to actually make his assist work. I've seen good uh, blue Jita players, but not very many. I've seen one competitive player and one person that I played against who was actually good with him. He's basically like a snap you to death character from what I've seen, but he doesn't have a lot of stuff that makes him a great character. Not a lot that he really does. If he got a buff, he could probably move up to here or here. Until then, he's he's pretty garbage. Not the worst character in the game, but not the best either. Oh my god, let me talk about Cell. This man, he was probably like up here, he was so good. They made him some of his normal slow. 6H scales as a, a light now. He's still great. Put him in that. I put him in A tier. He's got a beam, which is a diagonal downwards beam, but it's kind of hard to convert off of. It doesn't have a lot of hits done. If you want a diagonal beam, just play GT Goku, dude. Just play GT Goku. It's better. I think GT Goku has like 24 hits of block stun or a hit stun. That's the answer for everything. Why play uh, this man, big body, <laughs> when you can just play GT Goku? Just get a diagonal upwards beam.
a lot of people down. So Vegito, my favorite character in the series, but one of the most annoying characters in the game as a whole. I think he deserves to also be here. Uh, A tier. He has some mix. He does insane damage. Like anywhere on the screen, if this man touches you, you just lost 50% of your health. 50% of your health, no matter where he is on the screen. Five L's, disgusting. His uh, 6M is actually ambiguous as freak, especially online. Um, He has a reversal, which is pretty solid, but you really can't do anything off of it unless it's like a super or vanish. So it kind of sucks. And uh, yeah, hits. If he was exploring, Lord more he'd probably be higher but personally i think he's probably a tier as well nah I'd, I'd say he's b let's put him in b he's all right he's got he's got auto combos for dates i don't know man he's got like stuff but i feel like the majority of the stuff that he does is gimmick he doesn't have like real setups he doesn't have real mix he's got the shotgun though he's got the freaking blaster cannon his second level one this stuff is disgusting when they buff that i don't think he's that great dude i really don't i've seen people like ob assassin play him he makes him look good but he's not great his 5l is an overhead and you can't convert off of it his 2M is slow as freak. 5M is good. 5H is good. He can combo by himself. He has a air 2H that actually launches. He relies heavily on auto combo. He needs assist kind of. I think this is good. Go takes the final character, guys. The final character on the Tavius TV tier list 2020. We're not in 2019 anymore. What am I saying? Anyways, I think that he deserves to be. I don't know, man. It's like he used to be literally like top three like like see at the end of season one like the mid of season one think beginning of season two I don't, i'm not sure this man was like up here dude s tier but that was before this guy existed it's before this guy existed and the, and the tier list was like this he was debatably the best character in the game he used to be insane auto combo mix-ups were crazy he can auto combo you into yamcha and then like get a forward dash off his auto combo and gets a 50 50 setup ex spin top used to be plus on block his punches are still plus on block but you gotta you gotta spend meters so it's kind of sleep now i think like he's still good but he's nowhere near what he used to be so i just put him here really he's pretty he's pretty decent i mean he's got setups his assist is kind of iffy you really got to set it up right his assist works the best with vegito like you know he does like medium legs in the air into assist and he can dr or he can do something else but i think a is pretty solid either a or b i don't think nah let's go a let's just see with that being said i will save this download this image this is my tier list guys this is it this is not bad is not bad it's very subjective it's very opinion based and you can change this up however you want i personally feel that my bottom six is fact solid like you can't this this is not changeable like these are the worst characters in the game and i think a lot of people would, would agree so with that being said this has been the tavius tv tier list of 2020 for the end of season two i will do another one at with season three and i saved the screenshot you guys saw it top tiers everybody would agree with these top tiers from s to a to s minus some people might not put base vegeta up here some people might put him in a tier i put base who in the s in a tier so i can't put base vegeta in the same category from what i've seen he's a, he's s minus or you could say he's, he's a tier and then you could put base coup as b tier this kind of seems pretty good as well this kind of seems pretty solid with these base base coup here and base you to here but let's just let's just put him here for now let's just do this if there's anybody i i wouldn't bump up to a tier i'd probably bump zamasu and hit oh so yeah been my tier list if you guys enjoyed it let me know if you guys want to see another tier list in the future i'm doing this on stream so this is kind of funny if you guys have anything else to say about it if you disagree let me know i would like to know your opinions it's something i've wanted to do for a long time but i just never got around to doing it's been tavius remember to always find have a great day love you guys hey guys you guys got to hear my outro on, on freaking stream.